Well, hello guys. This is uh, Brian from the Warpsters, and uh, I'm doing uh, some your truck simulator today. Um, I finally well, I didn't really get into much of a recording system. I'm just using Overwolf, as you can see in the top top right, uh, not top right, top left uh, corner. I um, decided to use that, see if that worked. Turn down the, uh, the graphics. See if it'll work. Anyways, uh, I am probably thinking about doing a series on this. Uh, I don't know if it'll be good or not. But, you can see. As you can see right now, I am heading to go get a load. Oh, and yeah, slow down. Don't want to go over the speed limit. But, um... Yeah, this is, uh, hopefully going to be a fun, fun video. I don't know, the last video I tried, I got so far into it, and my computer decided, you know what, I'm just going to crash. So, yeah, so, uh... So we're gonna be talking quite a lot throughout this video because that's all you can base. Oh, fuck, I missed my. I oh, know I can't back up on a real road. <laughs> Let me over. Let me. Oh, god damn it. Ah, oh, well, thank you very much, fucking stupid ass AI. <laughs> okay, this isn't a good start already. Yeah, this is definitely not a good start. Alright. Let's see, we're gonna take oh, let's see if there's a load for sure. No. I don't wanna stay in the just in Central Europe, just wanna stay there because I hate going to England so much. The reason is, is because, you know, it is maybe on the opposite side of the road, but it's just the way to drive is kind of like screwed up. It's just, it's just different to me. I don't like different. <laughs> All right. Got my trailer. Please don't hit any other trailers while pulling out. Don't please don't hit the wall. Do, do, do. Okay, we're going out right here. Alright, uh, so anyways, today I'm taking out my Volvo that I have. Yeah, I like Volvos. This is like one of my favorite type of trucks out there. Or just favorite. One of my favorite trucking companies. Not trucking companies. More of just uh, a company that makes trucks and cars sometimes. But yeah. I really do like uh, Volvo. And Scania. Those are the, my two favorite though. What are you guys' favorites? I mean, I'm not out of, not between Volvo and Scania, but what's your favorite uh, trucking truck? Make truck? I have no idea what I'm saying. Um, how do I say it? Um, you know, you know what I mean, guys. It's just a company that makes trucks. Uh, let's see, no damage on that. No short messages. Okay, what the hell am I looking for? Oh, there it is. 25 tons of fucking rice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Where are we going to go feed? <laughs> are we going to feed like entire the entire thing of Europe? I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. 
25 tons of rice? Why would you? No. Oh my god. Well, at least I have a powerful truck to handle it. About 600 horsepower in this truck. I can keep upgrading it, but... I'm already getting up into levels. You know... Wait, yeah, I actually did go and upgrade it yesterday, so... It's all good. Anyways, uh, so... We're gonna be... Talking about uh, a few things that are going on in the warp just while I drive recklessly down this road. Um, first is, uh, we're going to hopefully, uh, start making some airsoft videos. And, uh, I don't know we're going to do that because Koi recently, well not recently, but the recent Christmas that we had, Koi got a uh, GoPro and we could possibly use it uh, for um, airsofting. So, I'll probably take it around, because Koi doesn't usually go out to play airsoft often now. I'll probably take it out and go play a little bit. Um, maybe outdoor arena or indoor arena. We have, like, so many arenas around where I live in Georgia. Like, um, you got Georgetown, which is my favorite outdoor place. Then we have uh, SCS Black Ops, Elite Ops, Battle City, SS Airsoft. Uh, we have all of these Airsoft arenas. And, uh, yeah, I was thinking uh, I could probably take take myself up there. Not take myself, but go up there and have fun and film some gameplay. Um... Some of you guys may wonder what my loadout is nowadays. Uh, I think you already know Koi's. I don't know if you know it or not. But he owns a uh, Tavor right now or an Mtar, as you could know it. And yeah, he owns one of those. and He still needs to find his charger for it or else he won't be able to play often. But um, I use a AKS-74M. Uh, yes, there is a difference between Kalashnikovs. There's a huge difference in all kinds of clash of calls. It isn't just one big AK-47 which everyone always calls an AK. But, um, that's why I use AK-74M. Um, I am... It's the reason why is because, um, I'm in a Russian group called Red Storm. And, uh, yeah. So, recently I've been also trying to save up a little bit of money at a time here. In there save up at least try to get eighty dollars and I'm trying to buy this camo so uh, I can actually look properly like a Russian I know Russians do use multicam but the problem is that I actually want to stand out in the crowd other than looking like I'm wearing multicam because literally almost everyone wears multicam so I said uh, I said to my team I was like you know I'm gonna start try the next thing I'm gonna save up for would probably be a new camo, which would probably be the partisan camo. So, because I mean, that how Russian can you get other than partisan? Well, actually, you can get pretty Russian, like Serpat or not Flecktarn, because Flecktarn is German. Uh, but but uh, yeah, so hopefully, I can save up enough money and get uh. Get some partisan. I can look properly like a Russian. I could be a uh, very, very big Russian with a good Kalashnikov. <laughs> but uh, seeing a lot of butts here. Butts. What? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, I bet you guys. I don't. Actually, I don't think I bet. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember or not from the uh, painting, uh, the spray paint video that we made. I had an AGM uh, M300, 400, I can't remember which one it was, and I uh, spray painted it a nice um, ocean spray color. And, uh, well, after that, after drying everything, after I used it a few times after that, uh, I decided I was going to sell it, get a little bit extra cash, because my friend John, because this was back at the uh, SAS... Uh, one year anniversary, and, uh, oh god, this bus is gonna, I have a feeling this bus is gonna break, anyways, um, 
Yeah, it was back at the uh, SAS Black Ops one year anniversary event, and uh, all I had was the shotgun. And he, of course, let me use his L, uh, his uh, LMG, which is MG49 saw. He let me use that thing. Thing it was heavy as fuck. I know that. But he said, "Oh no, my guy's getting tired." But he said to me, um, "Dude, you need to get a proper gun. I mean, you have you all you have is a spring shotgun." I'm like, "Yeah, I know. I have no money to get uh, a new gun." He's uh, well, let's slow down here. He's like, "Well, I can make you an AK if you want." I'm like, "Oh, that would be awesome." Hold on, I'm trying to get there. And so I was, I was just. He just, uh, just, I, I can't speak right now. Um, he was like, yeah, I can make you one, and, uh, you don't have to worry about it. I'm like, well, don't, shouldn't I, like, pay you something at all? And he's like, nah, 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 I, I'll, I'll just make it for free. I was like, oh, damn, nice. So, I was talking to him on Facebook, and we're going through, uh, oh, God, let's look down here. Uh, we were going through AKs because he, he found a quite a few. He was just like, would you like this one uh, or this one or this one? I'm like, um, I like the one that's full black because that's my color. I like the color black. Black is the new blue. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, yeah, I know, guy, that you're tired. I'll find a resting spot up here somewhere. I don't know. But, um... The, apparently that black gun was an AKS-74M. I didn't realize that a four. I thought it was just an average AK-74M. Uh, That's all I thought it was, but uh, AKS. And, uh... So, um... I still have it today. It uses a 7.4 LiPo. Um, I've put some attachments onto it. Though there are not that many attachments on it. I put it... Brand new flash hider, which is like a four inch suppressor. That's all I put on it. Uh, I did have like a an AK-47 styled uh, flash hider. Had one of those and I put it on it. Um, I had uh, I had a thing that I could uh, I had a rail attachment so I can put it on the side of my gun. Uh, I replaced the upper receiver with uh, a smoother look. Definitely looked like, uh, definitely looked better because it looked newer. I got it off like a, a Boneyard uh, AK by SAS. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I'll trade you this one if you, if I can have that one. I was like, all right. Oh no, my guy's dosing. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Please. Oh, fuck me. There's no rest area up here. I don't think so. But yeah, eventually this my guy is going to start dozing off and I'm probably going to wreck because Hey! 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 No! You don't do that! No! Bad car! Bad disgusting looking yellow car. Piece of shit. You don't go on, go faster. Go faster, I'm gonna ram into you. Actually, I can't do that because I'll get in trouble for that. Fucking piece of shit. Think you can come around me? And then start slowing down? Really? <sighs> Only AI in this game. Only fucking AI. <gasps> oh my god, there's a rest area up here! If I can even get up this hill with a 25 fucking ton trailer of fucking rice. Jeez. Why would you have that heavy? Trailer of rice. Ooh. Watch, watch it. I'm going to go to bed, and and it's gonna be nighttime. I always hate driving at nighttime because I can't see in front of me, like very far in front of me. No, that's the windshield wrappers. Hit the wrong button. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're gonna drive up through here because there's a rest. This is a place for me to sleep up here. This is a quarry, by the way. I have, I've been to several quarries in this game. I didn't know there were quarries in the first place. But yeah, apparently there were. Just driving my truck down this little dirt road. Yeah, I know I'm getting tired. We're gonna have to go really slow down this area. If I don't, then I'm absolutely would fuck myself over. As you can see, there's a lot of sharp turns, and it's all downhill. Right here. Oh, rest chair is right here. <sighs> Time to get some rest. Ah, oh, God, it was going to become at night time. Turn my lights. Now we got to have the hassle of trying to drive up this hill now. Yep. Yeah. It's so fucking difficult. Come on, truck, you can do it. You have 600 horsepower. You should be able to pull this thing up this hill. Yeah, so I'm a bit quiet right now. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. Uh, oh yeah, how about uh? Okay, so what'd you guys think uh of the of us just lip singing those those about four songs? What'd you think of it? Uh, was it funny? Was it meh? Was it? I don't know. You guys, you guys decide. What uh, what it was like. <laughs> All I was there for is you were just having a good time and trying to make you laugh. And there was my stupid ass who couldn't really think at the very beginning of the video, the intro of it. It's my stupid ass who couldn't really think what uh what lip singing was. We're just doing videos of videos of us doing a video of yeah, basically I said video like twice, three times, I don't know. Oh, I can't go down. I can't go down this hill really fast. Or I'm gonna jackknife my truck. Don't want that now, do we? And I think I already told you guys that I wanna do a little series of me driving my driving in your truck. Uh whenever I properly can get a PC that can run way better than this. That's probably when I'm gonna start from scratch instead of already having, uh, you know, having my uh, uh I, I'm already at rank like 18. So uh, if I start from scratch, I'm just gonna be like I'll have no rank and I won't have any money at all. Which that money that you see down there, that's that's been cheated in because uh, it was way back when I first started the game and I was like, you know what? 
Fuck this shit. I'm actually. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna cheat in this money, because I don't like working. And yeah, that's what my mindset was back then. So, yeah, still have that money. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put in one billion. I'm like, I think I would have been if I did. I just if I did like uh have the mindset now of money. I would probably just put a hundred million because that would have set me off for a while. Because I mean, look at it right now. I've only spent four million. That's it. That's all I spent. I think I would have done good, done well. And my drivers I have for my company, they give me money, so I'll have like a a lot of income coming in here and there. Okay. I forgot to tell you if, if you see me driving recklessly, uh, try to blame that on my keyboard because, uh, well, it is a keyboard, not a wheel. You can't get those smooth turns like you get on a wheel. That's the reason why I want a wheel too. It's um, I believe the name of the wheel is the the G27. I think that's what it was. I don't think, uh, uh, not the Glo not the Glock, I know that. Uh, I don't think they even make Glock 27, I don't know. We'll find out eventually. Well, I'll find out eventually. You guys can look it up if you want. But, um, yeah, that thing's about 250 to $300, depends on which site you get it from. Worth it, but it's a lot of money. It's uh, about, the specs of it are about... 12 inches or 13 inches that's how big it is so decent sized wheel with pedals and everything it's probably what I'm gonna buy after the camo of course uh. also uh, speaking of, also talking about uh, your truck I was thinking uh, I could probably do a multiplayer series as well. Uh, I talked to quite a lot of people on the team speak. Oh, let me turn that on so I can see where I'm going. Um, in the multi, uh, anyways, on the team speak, there's like quite a lot of people I talked to. They're pretty fucking cool people, and uh, I'm part of a company now. All I know is the initial CT. The problem is. Uh, I keep thinking it's either counter-terrorist. That's what I keep thinking every time I see CT. Because fucking counter-strike. Um, but that's that's the reason why. And uh, so I was like, you know what? That would be pretty cool if I could like... You know, of course I have to do it when I get a good PC. Not a good PC, but when I upgrade my PC so I can get some good frames. Because once I do, I'm able to probably uh, play with them. We'd probably be in convoys and such. And yeah. Which, also, another idea I had um, during um, uh, when, I, when I finally upgrade my PC is my idea was, like, I'll do videos on different days of the weeks. Like, say... Simulator Sunday, which I'll probably play like you know, simulator game like this, like Farm Simulator. Whenever I get that, play Euro Truck Simulator, maybe Surgeon Simulator, something like that. And then like FPS Friday, play some first-person shooters on Friday. Um, let's see. I have no idea what else. Like uh, I know that's all I got so far. I I'm pretty sure I had something else too, but yeah. God, I can't go over these white lines. But I had like other things in mind, but I can't remember them now. But that's what I was thinking that I could do. Like how Level Cup does its like a uh, Sniper Sunday. <laughs> like that. Oh, he does it for Battlefield and everything. Except I'm going to do like different genres of games on different days of the week. So yeah. Maybe Thursday could be like Throwback Thursday. And I can have to go back to like, you know, older games like. Maybe the first Hitman. Oh god, actually never mind. I, I take that back, that's gonna be terrible. Or I could play the original uh, game that got me into gaming in the first place. Was uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. 
That was the game that got me into gaming. Played it with my friend uh, Dalton back uh, back at my dad's house. It was, it was way back when I was like in fifth grade. Uh, me and Dalton were really good friends and everything, and he I just I invited him to come over and uh, when I when I went to my dad's house and everything, hooked up our uh, he hooked up his Xbox and on Xbox 360 it's just a flat old Xbox. Hooked it up to his, uh, to my dad's TV, and we just played GTA San Andreas the entire night. I did donuts to the song Slow Ride, like, all the time. It was so fucking fun. I remember, actually, I played San Andreas for the first time, uh, oh my god, this was beautiful. Like, I was, since I was also, you know, I like trucking and everything, and they had, like, you know, you could get a truck and drive around with the trailer and everything to deliver a load and everything I was like you know what I'm gonna do that right in the middle when I'm being chased by police maybe the police won't come after me then uh, I, was, I, was, I was quite wrong and uh... got my trailer started pulling out of the compound next thing you knew it about 15 police cars come ramming into the side of my truck, flipping me over, and my truck blew up. Boy, was I pissed. <laughs> I was like, fuck! Actually, I, could, I didn't say that back then because I was like, what, 10 years old or something? I don't know. I can't remember how old I was back in 5th grade. But, uh... It was. I was pissed. I know that for sure. And my friend Dalton, he was sitting right next to me just laughing his balls off. And I was like, fuck you. <laughs> it was beautiful. To his eyes, probably. Oh, yeah. And speaking of Grand Theft Auto, I, I pre-ordered Grand Theft Auto 5 for PC. I actually... I pre-ordered it like about a few months ago actually and just waiting for the 14th and apparently I heard on the team speak when I was on on ETS 2 team speak and they were he was like well I heard a rumor that they're going to push it back another few months so if they do fucking push GTA 5 for PC back another maybe a month or two dude like People are going to be so pissed with GTA 5 that they're not even going to bother with it anymore. It's a fun game, but but when you just like do this to the players, this is yeah. This is just he you just don't do that. It's yeah, just I don't know how to explain. It's just fucking annoying as fuck. Some people had like different th feelings about uh, about them not releasing GTA 5 yet for PC. Some had different feelings. Some others had like the same feelings and shit. And yeah, hopefully they don't push back GTA 5 to uh, to uh, for another few months because uh, Parker and I we are planning on um, we've been planning on uh, playing some GTA 5 online, of course. And making videos of it, cause I mean, I know Parker. He can, uh, he can, he's able to record GTA 5. I'm pretty sure of it. And um, yeah. So we're also gonna make a mafia too, like our own like little team, I guess. And it's gonna be the Purple Mask Mafia. That's what it is, cause you know, purple is an awesome color. Not as cool as black though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> purple is still pretty fucking cool. It's a now, I, here's a fun fact. Purple is actually a sex color. And that's where we got it from. It's like the same uh, inside joke we had for purple chocolate. Like, um, our joke was since uh, purple was a sex color, and you make uh, chocolate since also chocolate is a sign of, like, you know, um, well, not a sign, but chocolate more represents emotion, kind of. Because probably girls eat it on their periods. But, um. We decide, you know what? How about purple chocolate? And whenever you hear the name purple chocolate, your genitals explode. So, so every time. 
our uh, lunch day where we're like purple chocolate and all of a sudden we just go have our hand motion at our dicks and we're like like that <laughs> it was it was it was fun uh, it was fun when park used to uh, live around our area because we had we always could joke around with shit like that ah uh, good times and speaking of old friends uh, I recently played a little bit game a game with a uh, friend Joshua, which he was actually from my childhood. Um, which I think I invited him to join the Warpsters too. I don't know uh, if Koi wants to do that or not after he gets back from his cruise. But uh, hopefully Joshua can join because he usually like he he has a PC that's able to record, but non editing system. So it would be a while for him to start editing videos and posting them. But, yeah, uh, I was hoping that he could, like, you know, play with us. Like, since I have spin tires and Cor and Parker, they don't have spin tires, nor do they even want to play it because they say it's uninteresting. Uh, because all you apparently do is just drive around. That's all you do. But, like, there's more to that, but I'm not going to go into full detail. Actually, I actually have enough time, I think, to go into full detail. Do I? Oh yeah, I do. Okay, so basically, spin tires is a game. Uh, it's an off-roading game. Eh, oh fuck you, car. Uh, it's an off-roading game based in the Russian wilderness. And are you fucking serious? Oh, for fuck's sakes! You're going the speed limit, aren't you? Yes, you are. But, um, Spin Tires is a game where, uh, you go off-roading in the wilderness, the Russian wilderness, and Russian, like, huge Russian trucks. And, uh, the point of the game is, uh, you're taking a load from one place to the other. Like, you're taking a load of, uh, lumber to one place to the other. That's the point of the game. But, then there's those aspects where you can get stuck in mud... And you're gonna have friends that, can, that are gonna winch you out, or you can winch, your, winch yourself out. And yeah, which those people, sh everyone should know what the term winch means. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna talk about that. And if you don't know the meaning to it, then look it up. But yeah, that apparently doesn't appease them. I was like, you know what? I'm going, if you guys don't want to buy the game, then I'm going to have just, I'm, I'm going to end up buying it for you. Even though I do owe Parker actually quite a few games because he's bought games for me in the past and I owe him like about a few games. I'd say about at least $60 worth of games, maybe a little more. And I mean, I'm going to just, I'm planning on buying him some few, a few games I want him to play with me. Like Reign of Kings, I want to play that. That. Because I've been watching this guy partially royal um, on YouTube, playing a lot of Ring Reign of Kings. It looks like an interesting game. Uh, then yeah, this game I want him to play this game, and then then Spin Tires. I want him to play Spin Tires with me. Uh, is there any other games I want to play? He already has Titanfall, and we we're actually planning on making some videos of Titanfall too. But uh, yeah. I plan on getting Borderlands pre-sequels so that Parker will shut up about me playing with him. And plus, it is a fun game, too. I already have Borderlands, too, so. But, once uh, once we get all these games, I get my computer upgraded, and I'm past getting all my uh, Russian gear for Airsoft. Then, yeah, I could, you know... I have a lot of fun playing games, playing Airsoft and shit. A lot of fun, yeah. Okay, what else to talk about? Um, see, this is the game. This is a game where you just drive on a road, carrying some, uh, you know, carry some shit on your trailer. On, I mean, on your truck, and. You have like plenty of time to think about shit. Like it's just like being an actual trucker. Like 
yeah, you can listen to music while you drive. You could, uh, well, not text because texting and driving is kind of bad, and drinking and driving. Except if it's if the drink is like tea or or uh, or a monster or something like that. But yeah, I think you know common. Yeah, I think you guys have to have the common sense to know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, oh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, and uh, this. Just like real life, truckers, they have, like, so many hours to themselves when driving on the road. Like, since my dad is a truck driver, he gets, what, like, eight hours a day just driving on the road. And he has plenty of time to think to himself. And actually, some of them, uh, some of the most unique minds actually do come from truckers. Because they have so much time to think about shit. Which, like, um, like how I was talking, actually, I've been talking for about 35 minutes so far, actually about 36 minutes, straight about shit that's been going on. See, this is, this is what life of a trucker means. You just talk about shit nonstop, well, you don't really talk, you just kind of think it to yourself. Which, I usually, I, I actually have music on at the moment, but I don't want to get copyright on YouTube. Which, you know, you're able to have music when you're driving a truck, but in this game, you can't really play any music while you're driving because there's YouTube's copyright system. And uh, we actually got a few copyright strikes on us uh, for, like, the recent video uh, of us lip singing those four songs. And, um,. They got copyright on those. I was like, alright, I'm going to credit them in the, uh, in the in the description. And I sent a dispute after that. Making sure they see it. So. I haven't checked yet. I'm going to probably check after this video and see if they, uh, you know, they got rid of the copyright strike against us. Because I did forget to put in, like, you know, the credits to the people who made those songs. So yeah, it's good enough. Oh shit. Oh fucking hell. Fucking cars. Alright. Let's kind of gain speed here. There we go. Yeah, no cars coming down there. We can turn to the next lane. Which, actually, yeah, if you guys are wondering, if you've never driven a car before and you plan on, of course, you do plan on driving in the future. Because who doesn't want to know how to drive? Actually, quite a lot of people don't. Anyways, if you're wondering why I use my turn signals to switch lanes, it's because to notify. The other driver behind you that you're switching a lane or a driver in front of you too for that fact even though I mean I think the people in front of you don't really care but the people behind you they need to know where you're turning because if they don't know where you're turning and you just randomly pull in their lane it's really gonna fuck them up we've actually uh when I was out in the truck with my dad uh because I usually like going out and going out in the truck with my dad and um we we see all these fucking idiots driving on the road and um so my dad is like he's a big road rager especially you don't want to get uh a truck driver road rage you don't want to do that that is just a bad idea anyways so we're just driving along the road like like this right now and, uh, it was actually a four-lane interstate. And, um, we were kind of, like, you know, stuck in... It wasn't thick traffic. It was just, like... I guess it was kind of like traffic. It was... We were still moving at a steady pace and everything. Cars, you know, always switching lanes and everything. But this stupid idiot decides, You know what? I'm just gonna turn, like, literally... You could barely see the car over the hood of our truck. He didn't even turn on his blinker. And he started moving in front of our truck. My, since my dad is 
partially blind, and his right eye, well, with a very far right of his eye, like the corner of it, he's blind in that area, so he couldn't really see over the right dashboard. So, I was like, Dad, you do realize there's a fucking Corvette, you know, trying to drive over into our lane without a blinker. It's like, what, really? He's just like, he had to slow down quickly, and he slowly started to see that Corvette going up further above his uh, hood. And he was like, for fuck's sakes, drivers these days. And he was like, you know, I bet you that if I did hit that guy, he would have blamed it all on me. Because actually, the person who rams into the back of another, that person gets in trouble and not the guy who is driving in the front. Unless, unless you have a camera to prove it. Like, video basically proves almost everything. It just taping things is your friend goes for gaming say uh some asshole is trying to lie about you know about you and everything trying to tell porkies to people and yes I, I know you don't know what you don't know why I said the word porkies porkies means lie or telling tales telling tales there we go that's just my dad way of saying telling tales and um People, you know, if you don't have a recording system, of course, you can screenshot, but screenshots don't usually show the whole thing that was going on. But, I mean, it's just... Video is your friend, basically, for proof. Like, to prove someone wrong, prove someone right. One of those. And that's what video does. Say, say you're playing this game. And in this game, uh, you aren't allowed to ram into people or, you know, spam honking. Basically just holding in your horn or just randomly just keep non-stop honking at people. And the person doesn't believe you, uh, like, you know, the admin doesn't believe you and you start filming it. That's when you can send it to the admin. The admin like, alright, I'm just going to ban this guy. Ban him and then there you go. Video is your friend. Let's just go ahead and say that. Okay, let's just go up this ramp. God, I still need to get a wheel. Jesus Christ! <laughs> um, well, I think we're still pretty far from it. Um, We're already at the meaning of lifetime. Oh. Oh. Uh, luckily I didn't hit him. I keep forgetting I need to move over into the uh, left lane before that. Uh, exit. No one coming up there. Nope. Yeah, I do love this Volvo, though. Oh, I can actually turn off my lights. It's daytime. Actually... Actually, just turn off the high beams. That's all I needed to do. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, um... My keyboard! What are you doing? Uh, huh. No! No one can judge me for driving like this with a keyboard. You need a wheel to properly drive. And yeah, so, uh, keyboard does those sharp turns. So you can't really get those precise turns like a wheel does. So, yeah. That's why I need a wheel. The wheel is like the best thing to use when make drive, make, doing a simulator. Going back to simulators, uh, I did tell you guys about uh, Farming Simulator 2015. Uh, I'm planning on pl uh, getting that game in the future. So, I don't know if it'll run well on my PC, though. I'll probably have to have an upgraded PC in order to do that. But, um, my company, uh, the ETS2 company that I'm in, they have a dedicated server for uh, Farm Simulator 2015. And I'm probably going to join that. Because, yeah, why in the fuck not? I think it would be fun. What do you guys think about uh, Farming Simulator if you played it?
Well, just let me know because I, I really need to know people's opinions about the game before I get it. So far, the people of ETS2 like it, but I mean, they, they play simulators like all the time, so of course they're probably going to like it. But knowing me, I'm into like, I'm into these games where I like to drive vehicles. I, I love to play games that involve driving or racing. But, yeah, I also like to play games that are like shooters. I like to sometimes play those action strategy games like Men of War, Assault Squad, or Company of Heroes. Like those games. Though I do not like playing average strategy games like, uh, what, like Hearthstone. I don't like playing that game. Um, I don't like playing those strategy card games. That's why I don't play Magic. I don't like playing card games. It's one of my least favorite games to play. Unless you're talking about Cards Against Humanity. I like playing that game. That's a lot of fun. Except that's just more of just a shits and giggles game to me. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to even get a job so I can start paying for upgrades for this fucking piece of shit computer. My potato computer, that's what I call this thing. At least it can, you know, film, I guess, at 20 frames per second in this game. I don't know. Uh, it keeps going down here and then, but yeah. But once I get an upgrade PC, you're going to start seeing some action games. Like, I don't know, Arma maybe. Arma would be a fun game. Um, probably not Crisis. Not yet. I mean, uh, that's an older game, but uh, I think it's still pretty fun. Probably going to try to play some Far Cry, maybe. Grand Theft Auto, hell yeah. I'm going to definitely play that for you guys. Um, I have multiple games on my list. I have, like, what, about almost 60 games. Actually, I think I have about 60 games now, but oh well. Um, War Thunder, that is going to be a definite yes. That's what I'm going to play. I love playing War Thunder. I've always also loved playing... Yeah, I've always loved playing games that involved planes or vehicles. Anything... Anything like that. Anything that uh, is powered by a machine, usually. Games that are like that. I love playing games. Always like that. Holy fuck, my guy needs to go to bed soon again. Jesus Christ. But, um, yeah. War Thunder is always, that is just going to be always one of my favorite games to play, to be honest. That's just like, oh shit, I can't go in that lane by accident. Like, just just flying around in these World War Two planes, World War One and Two planes, and you just mowing a shit ton like of other planes down, and sometimes dropping bombs on tanks and objectives. So a lot of fun shit there. Uh oh, oh shit! Turn to this lane. Like playing tanks, that's some fun shit right there too. Like I am watching some Baron, uh, this guy named Baron on YouTube, and he's actually been teaching me some tank anatomy, and he's it's really helpful too. Like this is tank anatomy is just basically learning all the weak points of the tank where to shoot the tank properly like the mouse you know the fucking like literally that tank is like the definition of a tank the mouse and and war thunder like the only place where you could probably kill him instantly would probably be the back of the turret so yeah um there's like there's all other kinds of tanks too that I know the tank anatomy of like all German tanks, I shoot them all in the same spot and they die instantly. That's that's how the Germans like to engineer their tanks. They engineer them where they're all basically clones. So, yeah. Uh, the Russians, you shoot them... Like, they put the least amount of armor over the one spot where it keeps most of their ammunition. That's what the Russians like to do. They don't care about their men. That's what they didn't care about. They never cared about... The safety of their men back in World War Two. They just said, you know what, go there 
And yeah, you're just gonna die probably. Oh well. We have millions more that will probably take your spot. And that's that's how uh, the Russians played. They played it like the Chinese play it today. The Chinese are just basically they have they're actually almost beating America's military like they have inf only infantry wise they have they're almost to the same amount as uh, same amount as troops as we do almost the same amount that's and that's just infantry <sighs> all right so I guess that's cool this is almost the, um, the video is almost over uh, about to drop this load off. Probably end it. Whenever this light changes. Come on. But yeah. Ah, <sighs> God. Please let me turn. Are you joking me? Please don't. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry, people. Alright. But, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Like, in the future, I could possibly start making these videos better. Or I'll get a wider screen than this, because this is my temporary screen I'm using. Like, cause I'm planning on, uh, changing out these screens with, um, with my TV screen. Just use an HDMI cable for that. And I have a wider screen, and the game should run better because, uh, the two monitors I have eat up the processor of my computer. Which, that will also slow down, uh, the game that I am currently playing. So... Planning on hopefully making this shit better in the future. Alright, so now we just need to park this trailer. No, I do not want to auto park this trailer. I'm going to park this trailer like a fucking man. Actually, hold on, let me just kind of line this trailer up a bit, a bit better. Let's see. Is that about hit the spot? No, that ain't good enough. No. Let's line this trailer up a bit better than that. Oh, well, fuck it. Excellent! Awesome. I'm a professional. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, please like, share, or in comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one.